Right, it's running. Okay, this is our latest 2008 Morgan Sport. I'm just going to demonstrate how the hood works and the, the hood envelope. So for, it's always important to have doors open. Um, easier if you've got some of these Lee Brands uh, door checks. Always undo the, you've only got two poppers left, which take about 20 odd turn buttons off and poppers and what have you, and you've only got two now. It's very important to undo these before you do anything. What you do is release the back, always release at the back, not the front, because at the end of the day there's quite a bit of tension on the windscreen, but it, it, this, this particular, my design makes it so that the, when you pull that down and put the tension on, it pulls the screen back evenly. So the glass gets pulled back evenly, but always make sure that that's undone before you undo the rear rail, the front rail. Sorry. So yeah, one command, one more. So this is the this is the header rail. We've uh, we've used this the same as the back design for over 20 years now. Never had a problem with it at all. It's a single a single hand operation, so you can just pull off there, and then come up and then go push it across to release. It's as simple as that. Inside here there's a rib rubber seal so that it stops any weather coming over the top of there. Always keep this nice and clean. Okay. As you push the hood down just give the back window a little help just to make sure the back window folds nicely. You don't want the back window to buckle up especially in cold weather so just ease that down. What I tend to do is put a um, I get a towel, um, carrier towel and what have you, and put a rolled up towel in there as well if you're going to leave it folded down for a long period. The customer's just coming down from Scotland to pick this up, so it's not going to be down for very long. So anyway, so you do that, fold that down, and that one just making sure it's all going nicely. And what you can do is tuck the two over centre catches in, and then get these two side pieces here and pull those into the middle as well. So those are into the middle. Every hood conversion comes with a pair of these. These are the Velcro hood straps to keep them open, to keep the hood nice and folded up. Very easy to get apart, as you can tell. What I always say is, you've got the smooth and the hook. Always pass the smooth part through. This also does, as well as holding the hood tight, if you're not going to put the, the hood envelope on, if you're only putting the hood down for a short time, having that there means the seat belt can run smooth because it doesn't get caught on anything. We also we sell these as a separate item anyway as well. So once again, it's the loop part that you put through. envelope on it's easier with the head restraint out we, can, we do do uh, a very wide one of these as well if you don't go for the for the hood envelope we can do a very wide one of these which goes all the way across here and holds that down <laughs> easy to get a head restraint <laughs> might have to edit that one out <laughs> This, whenever you store the hood envelope, obviously it's all leather, always do the zip up all the way when you're storing it. If you've got a tonneau as well, the tonneau will fit inside here on the back as well. Get that there, you sit there, you can load the tonneau, you can do whatever you like now, that will sit there all day.
this on, if you just pull that down, make sure it's all nice and fitted there. When you do the zip up, approach it like you would a coat. Don't try and do it from this way, come from both sides. Zips don't like going around corners. You know, when you come to do a coat up, you always pull the zip tight to do it up. You do the same here. So when you get to the corner, put your finger behind the puller to straighten it. Then it goes easy. that onto there and holds it like that. Put these little devils back in.